you watch if you watch the news, the, the, the Florida pipeline with the, with the peel mills out of Florida, right. you've got you've got a number of people. Truthfully, the drug companies also did a really good job of marketing the drugs towards people in eastern Kentucky. Mm. Uh, Purdue Pharma with, with, with Oxycontin did an excellent job of marketing the medication because they told everyone it was safe, it was clean, it was not addictive, it was it was not going to be a big problem. Right. And and we all know what the oxycontin has turned out mm. to be. You know, so so the prescription drugs is is in my opinion is one of the most pervasive and one of the most sneaky drugs that we deal with. Right. You know, I mean heroin you know, you've got various number of law enforcement techniques that you can deal with it. Uh, but again, if you walk into the drugstore, and, and you know, and most of us, to be honest, we have got medication. You know, you get a tooth pulled, the dentist is going to give you medication. Right. One of the things that you can do to be really proactive, and you ask for, for a, a technique, is to monitor your own medicine cabinets. Mm -hmm. If you've got medication in there that you're not taking, you don't need, you don't have any use for. Right. Let's say that you had a tooth pulled and everything's okay and it's been a couple of weeks down the road, you're not having any problems, get rid of that medication. Mm. Don't leave medication around. Don't, you know, don't leave medication in your in your um, medicine cabinet. One of the biggest sources of drugs in our area is the local is the family medical. You know, you know, if you have people at your house, you know, while your intentions may be like I've got a bottle of, 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 of say Percocet that the dentist gave me when he pulled the right, tooth. Right. I may have someone come into my house and they say, well, I need to go to the bathroom. Mm. They go into the bathroom and they ramble through the drug cabinet mm. and get them a few. So one of the things that you can do is to not have a source of medication right. that's laying around. And you know, another thing to touch on too is these household chemicals. You can uh, take certain chemicals and make it into a drug, you know, like these cleaning supplies and things like that. I've heard of young teenage kids huffing this stuff and stop their heart and they die. Yeah. Huffing is is probably one of the scariest drug uses you can do. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, and I'm, I'm going to be very careful about not giving away any, any secrets, but in the average house, there's any number of chemicals that you can huff. Right. We had a program in Clay County of inhalant prevention, and what we done, instead of selling it as a drug, we sold it as a poison. Mm. And we had these wonderful poison green ink pens. Because what inhalants are, inhalants are a quick chemical reaction. Mm -hmm. And like you said, unfortunately, they are a number of them that are fatal. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, a lot, of, a lot of kids, that's a gateway to a lot of times with kids. So what we were doing was, I was talking to them as this is a poison, not exact drug. Because then you kind of glamorize. You gotta be very careful with drugs, not to right. glamorize. And you know, I knew two young girls that were in the London area that was together and they was doing this out of fun and they both died. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, instantly. huffing is, 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 is extremely dangerous. People want to make it out like it's uh, kind of like, well, it's, you know, kind of innocent. But anytime you introduce a, a chemical that goes directly to your brain, mm -hmm. and that's what huffing does, that's what makes any of the inhaled drugs so dangerous is because of the immediate effect. You know, if you take a pill, it takes a while to work. Right. But, you know, if you inhale a, a drug or a substance, you've got almost instantaneous and unfortunately you don't have a chance to back out. Right. You know. uh, let's leave the people with one final thought today and let's really bring it home to them. You know, these addictions and these drugs, they will kill you. Drugs will kill you. Uh, maybe not right off. It might take a, a few months or something, but it always ends up in death. Uh, with, with addiction, you've got three choices. You've got insanity, imprisonment, or death. Is pretty much your your, your choices. Um, if you if you go through the process of addiction without treatment, prognosis is not very good. I exactly. mean, uh, you, at some point you you'll have you'll have some real serious consequences. You know, if you start seeing that that, that drugs are involved, if you're in school and your grades start and you're using drugs and your grades are slipping good indication. For right. parents, if you've got a good kid, 
and he starts losing, his grades start going downhill, or he's not playing basketball well, or he's not associating with friends, or a major behavior change. You might want to ask some questions. Okay. And like I say, if you want, if you want to talk to any of our counselors, we'll be glad to talk to you. Uh, give us some numbers, maybe like if somebody's in our viewing audience and wants to call. Probably the best place to start would be to call the her if you if you if you just want to call our Corbin office and start there, and they can even call me if they want to. Okay. Uh, 606-528-7010. Um, the number's usually busy, but just keep trying. We'll we, we'll we'll get we'll get back with you. Um, if, you know, like I say, in any of the comp cares, if they're in the phone book, and let's say that you're in Knox County and you're listening to this, uh, Knox County's got a, 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 a program, a resident, I mean, outpatient program, um, as all of our eight counties do. So right. uh, we have two offices in Laurel County. Our Corbin office technically is in Laurel County, even though um, we, we, we call it Corbin. Um, and we have two offices in Harlan. You know, and we have two offices in Bell County, right. so that's where it makes our 11, 11 offices. But we have a counselor trained in, in every office, and if not, they know somebody.